Hello. Hey, CP. Hey, my brother. How are you? Good, man. I miss uh, you, sorry, man. Yeah. Where, I, where I, you been? I miss you. Me. We didn't we didn't talk for long. Man, I miss you, brother. All right. So, yeah. what do you think about what I was saying, brother, brother uh, Sam? Yeah, no, I was just saying in the text message. All of us are students. We're students of scholars like you because we don't know the Arabic. So that's true. That's the true comment. That's you can't argue against that. You know the Arabic. We are students. We're doing the best we can by the grace of Jesus Christ. You know. I mean, I mean what can we do? I mean, you see, yeah, like I always, I say as an example, if you want to go and ask the question about the Bible, go to Sam Shamoon. He can answer better than me. I am not capable to do what he can do. And many of you heard me saying that, correct? Many times. I cannot, I cannot claim that I can teach Sam Shamoon the Bible. That would be a joke. So every one of us, he have a gift. Every one of us, he have a skill. So all of us, we complete each other. It's like, you know, we are delicious fruit in the table of the Lord. And, uh, you know, imagine if we are just one color and one taste. I mean, this would be boring, right? So all of us, we complete each other together. So this is why always when I say, okay, even when somebody leaves Islam, it says to him, you want to go search for Sam Shamoon? You can ask him all the questions you want about the Bible because this is the guy you can ask. But when we debate yeah. Muslims, Sam Shamoon, you know, and I'm sure, you know, you have a lot of experience already with the Muslims. We are not debating with Muslims. We are, de we are debating with the devil who is trying to lie. Yep. Nobody yep. want to give us an answer for any question. So how you can get the question? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, w w two things. One is asking me, do I have a YouTube page yet? Shamunian. I'm going to change it to answering Islam. You know, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. But let me tell you what happened to David Wood because he did a video. The reason why he shut down CP is because he was going to walk off the stage. He was leaving the stage. Uh, so I want to just give some background information. Okay. Before the debate, they met backwards. Uh, not backwards. They met. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, <laughs> What, whatever the, the behind back the, of the scenes. stage okay and the moderator <laughs> said the muslim moderator said there's going to be no mocking no attacking mm. and so david wood went to shake his hand and ali dawah did a video of this mm. muhammad Ejab, the thug didn't shake his hand so david said okay fine david wood when he sat down and when muhammad Ejab started mocking and the moderators didn't do anything he said to himself because he he mentioned this i've been set up they set me up again because for other times he debated Muslims. They did the same thing. They hijacked the debate, started mocking. And he even says that in the first rebuttal, he was about to walk off stage. That's why he shut down. So that's what happened. Yeah, but because but you are there. You don't let them get away with it. You know, that's exactly. it. You are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only one thing, remember, CP, uh, David Wood admits it himself. This is not attacking. He's my brother. We love him. Yeah. He admits he's a sociopath, which means... He has to control his rage. Yeah. And so when when he sees he's about to let's say get angry, he has to walk away so he can control himself. So so in light of the circumstances, light of his condition, he admits it. He even said in the debate, I'm a psychopath. You remember, guys? He said it. Mm. He's not making fun. That's his condition. He has a condition, and by the grace of Jesus, God has constrained him from doing something, right? So that's why he sat there controlling himself because he didn't want to lose his testimony and shame Jesus Christ. Yeah. See, this is the problem. That's what happened. So they needed someone like you or like me because remember you said you got to treat a fool, go on his level? That's Proverbs 26, 5. For those who want a biblical verse, yeah. Proverbs 26, verse 5 says, answer a fool according to his foolishness, lest he becomes wise in his own mind. So that's what they needed. I mean to that. Well, you know, uh, but but the problem, uh, uh, Sam, when when you say something uh, happened, like you say, I say um, this is what David would say, or let us say somebody said something wrong. The second you say something, he said something wrong. Uh, the Christian, they say you are putting him down, or you yeah. are uh, uh, not giving him a credit. I, we appreciate anyone who fight the cult. He's better than many who sit home doing nothing. You know. Exactly. So what, how we can put him down? We cannot put him down, but we correct each other. If I am wrong, correct me. Yeah. No, no to, let me just say, if people are going to say that, then, well, I don't know if I should mention this, but the whole point is you're not putting him down because you dislike him. It's because you want to sharpen him. Iron sharpens iron. <clears throat> and the fact of the matter is, it is true. You have knowledge of Arabic we don't have, and you're always going to have an advantage. 
over the Muslims. You and Usama Dagdok. This is simply the truth. So it's not an insult. It's not a put down. <clears throat> but you're right. At the same time, however, we don't have enough Christians debating Muslims because many Christians don't have the courage to face Muslims. So we don't, we're not, like the CP said, he's not putting David Wood down. Praise God, he's putting his life and his family's life on the line to expose this cult and yeah. glorify Jesus Christ. But it is true. You, you need to know the Arabic. What, what's funny, CP, as you said, the guy doesn't know Arabic. So even with him, how much Arabic do you really need to know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, but the, the, my my uh, my point there that this guy hijab was a priceless gift yeah, to David Wood. You see, he was. So David Wood, he should take advantage of that and look yeah. like maybe because he have his anger inside him and he don't want to lose his control. Yeah. He let him get away with everything he said when it was a priceless opportunity. I mean, I never saw a stupid answers as much as this guy. You see. Yeah. If I was there, if I was there, this is why this hijab, he would never debate me. This is why Shabir Ali would never debate me. You know, the Muslims always debate somebody. Let us say uh, uh, they can play the game with him. Like, okay, you do not know. You don't speak Arabic. Uh, you have no idea. Oh, this is a translation saying that, etc., etc., etc. But the second they feel that this person, they will debate, he will humiliate them, not by making a mockery, but by showing that they are lying. They stay away. Yeah, so yeah. when you debate a Muslim, <clears throat> you need to prepare yourself. Either either you are ready to get dirty, or don't get dirty. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah and the one thing also, CP, we have another problem. We're trying to reach two audiences: American Western audience that think if you are aggressive and rude, you're not being Christian. You know that we've been attacked. Right? Yeah, yeah, you, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The Western people, oh, I don't see Jesus in you. Where's the love of Christ? And yet, if you're soft, <clears throat> notice now, folks, why do the Muslims think Muhammad had have one? Because if you come out soft, they see that as weakness and you're afraid and they don't respect you. So now, how do we win? We're going to lose one audience for the other, right? Well, I don't care about losing audience. I care about saying the yeah. truth. You know, I mean, if we, if we if we favor audience over the truth, that would mean they are we are we are the, we are the losers. Yeah. You know. The Muslims, sure. the Muslims believe that we are, you see, this, this is the problem. You as a Christian, you should not be nice. You might not agree with me now because you will not know what I will say next. In the Quran, my friend, the Muslims, they believe, they've been taught in the Quran that the Christians are kind and nice because Allah, he cursed us. If you go in the Quran, it says, Okay, so they are, you know, those people, and actually in different verse, let me show you, different, uh, this is, uh, uh, if you go to chapter 3, verse 112, it says, why Allah, why we are, why we are nice people? You know, what is the, what is the secret? Why you are nice? Simply you are nice because you are cursed by Allah. It's not because you are good. Do you see the verse, uh, uh, Brother Sam? Yeah, it's you, right? Yeah, I see it now. Okay, so why we are nice? Why we are nice? The Muslim, they will not think about it because you are following Christ and etc. This is a curse of Allah. He humiliated you. All right? Yeah. yeah. He humiliated you. And because you are humiliated, look at you. You are like you are scared. You know, look at you. Allah, he made you this way. That would make them believe more that Islam is right. Yep. That we're weak. Yeah, that's See? true. I, yeah. I agree with you. And I just want to say again, <clears throat> CP, I'm not saying in front of you, if I was, if I didn't think this, I wouldn't be on your show. Um, when it comes to Islam, you are a nightmare, and you have an advantage over all of us in Arabic. And then Osama Daktok too, and Al Fadi. But I just want to let people know: among those who don't speak Arabic, and this is a disadvantage. I agree with him. If you know Arabic, then you will be Islam's greatest fear and nightmare. That's why they won't debate you. They know you're going to destroy them. But among those who don't speak Arabic, David Wood and Anthony Rogers. Are some of the best we have with what they have in other words they don't know arabic but still they're doing some great work and i don't take you as putting putting him down you're trying to give him advice and david wood would agree with you he he needed to be aggressive but like i said <clears throat> he he <coughs> felt they were setting him up and he was getting angry and so for the glory of jesus he had to con control himself so praise god for that you know so yeah. that's what that's well, what happened because usually david if you watch his other debates like with Osama and others, he mocks them. 
in a nice way, he mocks them and he shows that the, their argument is silly. In this debate, I wondered myself and I asked him and he told me, he goes, because I thought I was being set up and I was getting angry because he goes, this is the fifth time the Muslims did this to me, set me up. That's why when we set up debates, we can't let the Muslims do it. We got to get Christians involved. You know? You know, when uh, when the, this guy, he challenged David Wood to debate him, I made a video before the debate. I said, why you don't challenge me? Yeah. And the debate, the, the video is there, you know? Why you don't challenge me? Why you don't want to challenge uh, David Wood? He didn't ever respond. Yeah. Then when he was leaving the debate, uh, a Muslim, he asked him, when you are going to debate Christian Prince, he said, let him come to me and I will finish him. Yeah, yeah, I saw the video. <laughs> 20, less, less than 24 hour, uh, hours after, he made a video saying he will not debate me because I am not in his standard. <laughs> yeah, what a joke. And yet he said, David Wood, remember he said, David Wood, this man is not worthy of respect. That's why I mock him. So I guess David Wood is on a standard, but you're not. Yeah, that's because they're cowards. They know you're going to destroy them. We know that. You there. have, you have, when you, when you speak to the devil, you have to speak his language. You are respectful, they will take advantage of you. You are kind, they will ride you. They will think, okay, here we see, okay, he's, he's, he's like flying carpet, you know, like, okay, he's, he's like a carpet, he is not resisting. They yeah. take advantage of your kindness and you being respectful and they will make a mockery of you. Yeah. You know. Well, by the way, CP, someone just mentioned it. Uh, if you fr speak French, I debated the number one Muslim apologist in France. Someone just mentioned it, Karim Al Hanafi, hmm. but it was translation. Uh, I, I spoke English. They translated in French. He spoke French, translated English. Glory to Jesus Christ. He got annihilated. Glory to God. It was annihilation. And a couple of French Christians contacted a friend of mine and said he had about two million followers. Half of them left him after the, the two debates. So yes. praise Jesus Christ. That's wonderful, me. bro. That's wonderful. Yeah, keep praying for me. And CP, I have to go pick up my daughter. So I just want to ask all of your supporters keep praying for me and my children that jesus bless us protect us fill us with the spirit to continue to destroy islam and glorify christ and if your supporters want to subscribe to my youtube page eventually i'm going to start doing more videos i have something right now that's stopping me but i'd appreciate it shamunian and cp you're my hero and i do love you brother you know no, i love you bro and uh, say my greeting to david wood i i, I love i love him too and yes, if we I, I hope he will not uh, take what i say uh, something no, against him. I'm just uh, being a brother and he can correct me if I'm wrong, you know no, no. He no... knows it. He knows he knows your heart. We know your heart. We love you and keep praying for me CP and have your followers pray for me And if they want to help me get my YouTube page up, it's a blessing for the glory of Christ. I love you guys All right. Well, don't forget to uh, post your uh, page uh, uh, Sam in the chat so people they can subscribe, please Okay, well, All I'll right. do that. Okay, so take I care. love you brother. I'll see, talk to you soon. God willing. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Take, take care. Bye-bye All right